Question 20. ABCD is a square with a side length of 4x. M is the midpoint of DC. N is the point on AD where ND is equal to x. BMN is a right angle triangle and we're asked to find an expression in terms of x for the area of the triangle BMN and giving our answer in its simplest form. In other words, what we're asked to do is give it an expression for the area of this shaded triangle. Right, now the first thing I'm thinking immediately is that I would like to know, well, what is the area of the whole shape? So if I could work out, say, the area of the whole square, as we see it, And then after I work out the area of the whole square, what I might do is then work out the area of, say, this triangle over here. I'll mark it with the green highlighter. I might work out the area of this triangle here. And finally, I'll work out the area of this triangle here. And once I know the area of these three triangles, I could take it away from the area of the square and we will have the area of the shaded part. So let's get stuck into that now. First things first, let's get the area of the square. So the square, the area of the square is going to be found by doing the length times by the width. In other words, we're going to do 4x times by 4x. Or more simply, we're going to do 4x squared. 4x squared is going to be 16x squared when we simplify it. So that's the area of our square. Let's now work out the area of the purple triangle. So the purple triangle, the area, well, the area of a triangle, you should know, is found by doing the base times by the perpendicular height divided by 2. The base of this triangle here, is going to be the same as the length of the side of the square, which is 4x. The height of this triangle is going to be 2x, because remember, m is the midpoint of DC. So if the whole length here is 4x, that means from C to m, it must be 2x. So we've got the base, we've got the perpendicular height. All we need to do is apply our formula. So we're going to do a half times by the base, which is 4x, times by its perpendicular height, which is 2x. So let's see. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times a half is 4. And let's deal with the letters now. We've got x times x is going to give us x squared. So when we simplify that, multiplication, we end up with 4x squared. Let's look at the other triangle now. Um, let's look at this blue triangle. So, again, we know the height of this triangle, the perpendicular height of this triangle is going to be from here to here, which is clearly 2x as well, and we've already got the base. So we know that the height is 2x, and we know the base is 2x. Uh, is x. So the area is going to be a half times by the perpendicular height, 2x, times by the base, which is x. Half times 2 is 1. x times x is x squared, so it's going to be 1x squared, or simply x squared. Finally, let's go for this green triangle here. A little bit more work involved. Not too much, though. So we know the perpendicular height of this green triangle. It's 4x. And let's see if we can work out what the base of this triangle is going to be. Well, we know that that part here is x. We know that the total distance along the top is 4x. That means that from a to n, it's got to be 3x. So the area of this triangle is going to be a half times by perpendicular height, which is 4x, times by its base is 3x and let's see if we can work that out 4 times 3 is 12 12 times a half is 6 and x times x is x squared so 
we've now worked out the areas of all the triangles, obviously apart from the one that we want. What we're going to do now is we're going to add up the total area of these three triangles. So the total area for these three triangles is going to be 4x squared plus the x squared plus the 6x squared. When we add them together, we get 11x squared. We also need to work out the uh, the area of the remaining part. So we're going to take the area of this uh, square. We're going to subtract the area of our triangle. So we're going to do 16x squared. We're going to take away 11x squared. And when we do that, we're going to get 5x squared squared.